Congregation, I want to smoke the clear real quick. Let it clear. Because Kane has another topic for us. We're going to get a little deep. So, question for you and for the congregation. Let me know. Does a male womanizer stem from childhood trauma? Now, before you answer that, before you answer that, there's a lot of different ways that can be a childhood trauma. When I say childhood trauma, meaning, you know, maybe you were touched inappropriately when you were younger. You didn't think nothing of it. Maybe it came from a family member, uh, a friend, or a stranger. However, do you think that the reason why men are going out there just trying to get with any and everything and just want to be with women back to back to back, different women back to back to back. Is that stem from something in their past that they're just displaying, you know, now? Well, currently, what what are your thoughts on that? Ooh, that's a that's a good good topic. A um, couple of different things, Kane. I mm-hmm. would say on the the front level just the face level, Mm -hmm. most guys, and I say definitely in our time when we were growing up, man, we were taught but not taught to to be with a lot of different ladies because that showed that you was a man, that you was the man. Not thinking about, you know, later on, uh, how are you going to treat these ladies? You just bouncing around. Papa was a rolling stone. Wherever he laid his hat was his home, okay? And yeah, I, I get you. I get you. When, when, when we see this, uh, it do make you kind of feel good. I am the man. You start believing that type of stuff or whatever. Hey, man, did you knock her down? Yeah, I did. Man, you got to find you something else. You know, it's like a hot seat. So that was totally the wrong teachings, Okay. Definitely our fathers didn't say that to tell us yeah, to do so that. that. That's where they I was going to never go told us to do that or yeah, whatever. So, so and our fathers didn't bring this up. No, they but didn't. we did it with our peers. Yes. Our peers back and forth. We were like, hey, man, what you do? What you do? You going to get it? You going to try? Whatever, yeah. right? Yes. We did yes. that with our with our peers, but why did we feed into that, though? Kane, look. We that that was a thing. Good question. That peer pressure is that the what pe- is the peer pressure? We wasn't telling our fathers that we could have. And I will say this: any self-respecting father is not going to tell his son to go out there and quote unquote 2024 go to pound town on everybody. Okay, mm-hmm. let's let's be real about it. But yeah. I'll tell you one thing that our fathers will say. Like I told uh, my nephew for for his prom. You make sure you are use you have protection. I'm not condoning. This was my exact text. I'm not condoning you to have sex. I'm not condoning it, but make sure you are protected. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's yeah. The, the only information that I can give because of what's going on in 2024. It's been going on. I say since 1993. Or or be, be, before that, I'm just saying that's when I graduated. It was '93. But anyway, um, going back to this this topic right here, the person could have been touched. You hit on that. Mm-hmm. That can be an aspect, and that can go a slew of different rays from heterosexual to homosexual. Going yep. that aspect, I did I have agree. a, a buddy agree. of mine that was a a true friend mm-hmm. that was in the navy. He saw I was going out, and I was one of those typical guys. Now, this has been straight up forthcoming that would bounce with ladies, ladies have fun, all of those things. That's just the truth. He came to me, hey, Mitch, hey, man, I want to go out with you, man. I don't want to do what I've been doing. I was surprised to hear him say that. I said, what, man, you, you know, I'm down with, you know, the ladies. 
hey man, I want to be down with ladies. He told me his story. Young. Uh, a family member used to dress him up as a girl. No way. I'm telling you the truth, no man. Way. I'm, I'm being really? serious. A hundred percent. And and used to do things to him. Mm. Used to do things to him when now, not saying that he did those things, but it turned him away that now he just wants to be with men. And mm -hmm. he came to me and said, you know, good gracious. Hey, Mitch, man, I want to try to turn my life around and start meeting ladies. Mm -hmm. I said, man, hey, man, we can do it. It's a club. We went out and he danced with this girl. He was talking to this nice looking girl, but they clashed. It didn't, it didn't work out or whatever. Yeah. yeah it yeah. just didn't work out. But that's that's a that goes to the point of what you said of being touched or whatever. Yeah. Uh mm -hmm. and I I just say we don't have to give props to our men. And this goes, I'm not just definitely not talking about the black community. This is for all men, all young men or whatever. You don't heard the term sow your oats, sow your war oats and all those things or whatever. Shout out to coming to America. But <laughs> um, I will say this, men, if you're not ready to get married, don't get married and then start just running around. You got to get everything out of your system because when you find that one, you want it to be a family. The family is always broken. We tied a lot of stuff into this right here, but uh, I'm still not saying go out there and just pound town everybody. Uh, things will happen. Things will happen where you will meet somebody, you'll be with that person. But that don't mean Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday have a, a different lady. I, 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 I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. And uh, yeah, I definitely want, don't want to condone that. Um, I think that what we should uh, teach, um, you know, as fathers, as um, peers and, you know, and such that we should teach, we should have uh, self-respect for ourselves. Okay. You know what I mean? Like we should, we should have that. Yeah. Yeah. We should have that for ourselves. We shouldn't want to have to be out there like that. Even though you people say so the royal oats or whatever, right? They say go out there and see what it's like and then find something. No. I mean, that can be damaging as well. Come on. You know what I mean? So guarantee you you see what God has to offer you when you just you know be guided, but don't be, you know, jumping into this sack and jumping into that sack. Because all you're going to do is, one, compare your next to the next mm, come to on. the next. And then maybe go back to another, a previous one that was great. But then you're still comparing with that. And then you got uh, in your mind, you're thinking like, oh, my God. Yeah, she was great in bed, but her personality was terrible. Whatever, right? You're, you're thinking all these different things. And then you're trying to uh, because sex is a drug for men. I was I would I would think that is. A drug for men because we can get addicted very easily. Okay. Meaning we want it, we want it, we gotta have it. Once we get that feeling, we trying to re, re uh, we trying to feel that feeling once again, and that's why we reach out to these different you know women or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. and, and I think a lot of that stems from you know, and even if we didn't have that that foundation that we needed. Or just like I mentioned, you know, there are some instances where people, you know, were touching inappropriately as an uh, as a child, and then you're you don't know where you at, and you're just kind of figuring things out, and that messed your mind up. You, that you lost your innocence at that moment, or whatever, you know. So that that that's what I would say. You know, have some self uh, respect for yourself, and don't go out there like that. And if you are out there, yes. just like you mentioned, protection, protect yourself from, you know, all the, you know, STDs that are out there and from, you know, impregnating, you know what I mean? Like yes. all of that stuff, you want to protect yourself because you just, you don't want to just kind of spread your seed. You, you know, your seed is valuable too. As yeah. men, I see this valuable. Do you really want your seat to be out there in everywhere in anybody? Kane, I got to pause right there. Just, <laughs> just because Go, you, you said something right uh -huh. there. 
men, young men were never taught that what you just said, you putting yourself out there, yeah. you are valuable. Yeah. You are valuable. Your seed is valuable. Tend to go, well, keep your hood, shooting up the club. Mm -hmm. I mean, having an orgasm, people that don't know, inside of every different woman, mm -hmm. shooting the club up. And then you have a baby here, there, everywhere, and all of that. You don't, you're valuable. Yes. Your son and daughter is valuable to you or should be valuable to you because that's a representation of you you know so that part right there if we would have taught if we teach our kids that now mm -hmm. it could be a totally totally uh different uh situation totally yeah yeah I, I agree i agree yeah and you know and we can start it here you know those those of you who are listening that maybe have may have uh you know small kids and you know uh, especially the men because I because re we really you know uh, I know women control sex and men control relationships but uh, we can also you know instill that foundation of you know maybe we're the prize in some sense you know what I mean you know how we put everybody on pedestals just say you're the prize and you don't want to give your prize out to everybody. You know what I mean? Yeah. You don't want to, because then it's what is it worth if everybody has it? Is it is it worth right. anything at that point? Right. Or is it, yeah, yeah. So that's how you got to look at yourself and your self respect too, and, as well. And you you know hitting on that right there, uh, is it worth it? Girls are taught at a young age. You know, I use I don't care how bad the mother is, whatever they could go through. But someone tells that female, don't be running around with everybody. Mm -hmm. Don't just give yourself up to every, use me, Tom, Dick, and Harry. I sound old, but don't just give it up to everybody. Don't do that. You find you somebody because you should be cherished. They shouldn't hear that you was with that person, friend, that person, friend, because that just, okay, we go into the modernism. Your body count is so high, nobody wants to really, you know, wife up that person that they know now mm -hmm. has been with 12, 20 guys or That's whatever. True. That's so true, bro. ladies are taught this, you know, when they're young, but guys are never taught this. Guys usually talk, go out there and get it. Mm -hmm. Go out there and be that young bull. Oh, yeah. Come oh, on, yeah. Man. Yeah, and you hear it even from normally it comes not so much from the father, but it'll be an uncle or something. Come on, you, you know just what said something. <laughs> you just said uncle. something. Uncle be like, hey, so what? What happened? What did you talk to? What did what happened? You know, yeah, that's usually how it goes or whatever. Maybe mm, an older cousin, an older brother, or whatever, right? And usually that person that you look up to. But you know, let's lay that foundation now. Let's mm -hmm. do that. You know, if you haven't had that conversation with your um, your son, uh, do that. Do that. Have that conversation. If they have age and you want to go ahead and explain different things, l let them know that they can be the prize. Yes. You know what I mean? You don't have to spread your seed to every any and everybody. You can yeah. wait to marriage. You can wait to marriage. Mm -hmm. And then when, you know, and then if the woman waits to marriage, that's a man, oh, that man. union right there. Oh my God. It doesn't happen. It happens, but it doesn't happen very often or whatever. And I know this is typical and this is, yeah, we didn't go through that same thing, but however, our footsteps are probably not the footsteps you want to step in. Yeah. You know? Hey, yeah. yeah. I, we, we, I, we'll tell you how, how the road is, but however, do you need to go down that road? Man. That's how and, I feel. And you always say, don't, you know, and you'll tell me this, you tell the congregation is mm -hmm. live in the present. Yeah. I don't think about that past, but sometimes I think about that past and that past can mess with you. The yeah. things that I did back in the day, mm -hmm. because just chasing the ladies, just yeah. that was, you know, one of the things yeah. that really meant, a, it meant a lot to me. And that's very unfortunate. You can, know, I can, you, yes. can you explain to the congregation, and I'll do my part too as well. How does it, you know, the end result of chasing, chasing, chasing. How does that make you feel internally to chase, chase, chase? And then as you grow older, 
Do you continue to chase? And if you don't continue to chase, what's the reason why you stopped? The well, thrill is gone? Is the thrill gone? The thrill is or do gone. you reach Shout back? Out. I mean, tell me. Shout out, tell BBK. It's like we having a real conversation over here. Yeah. Canaanite, he acting like during, I don't know, Dr. Roof and uh, Yana Van Zandt mixed up with Dr. Phil. I mean, I'm calling them all out. Yeah, but that's that's what's up. Because yeah. sometimes we got to have these conversations. For sure. But For sure. just chasing the, the thrill, and it sounds ridiculous, of just something new. Yeah. Something new. They all got the same thing, but something new. Oh, I can go. Oh, I'm, and then it got to the point where, man, I'm going to make her a day. Mm -hmm. Now you're getting conceited in mind. Pride, I'm going to make her a day. Mm -hmm. If she say yes, this will be something good for her. Mm -hmm. Now you're looking for just specific things that you may like in a, in a person. She might not be that attractive, but then it's something that I like. Okay, that one is uh, different right there. Oh, I'm going to try that right there. It's good. Okay, I can go. Mm -hmm. I'm going to, and I had a friend. And this is how wild it got. He said, Mitch, man, I'm going to have sex with a different woman for two weeks straight. I was like, I'm going to see if this dude can do this. It's possible. He did it. He did it. It's possible. He did it. And then did I want to get into that ram right there? Man, if he could do that, I think I can do that too. But then what does that do? Now, we we trying to change. We done got a little older. And let me tell you this, people. Honestly, just because you get older, you can still do the same things. Because I done had friends, uh, female friends, and say, man, I can't believe this guy said this to me. I was like, at 40, 43, talking like that? That's something you say when you, you're younger years mm -hmm. and you're just out. But no, mm -hmm. some people still be in that same mind frame. So... I tell you what helped me change, and I think, and I'll just be honest. Congregation was when I started back going to church. I'm just for real, hmm. not not anybody else, not for the kids, not for anybody. When I started back going to church, and I don't know, it just something changed within me, and then I started reflecting. That reflection, why did I do that? Yeah, that was what ridiculous. Was that was nasty. And then it could mess you up where I say that past, man, it can almost put you almost depressed. I cannot believe I was doing those things. Mm -hmm. That's that's it makes no sense. But, you know, we live our life. You have to learn, though, and then try to educate others, because I would never want anybody to to go in that path because that path yeah. led to nothing. Yeah. And That's you feel like you're starting over. You feel like oh. I, I got a, I got up in age and now I'm settled down. I done got all this out of me, whatever that was. And now I'm just like, oh, now how do I know what's right and what's wrong? And then how can I find someone? You know, yes. you still want to be with somebody. Yeah. But I know how I used to treat these ladies. Mm -hmm. Am I going to get somebody? Because they, what they say, karma come back, don't it? Mm -hmm. In the back For of my sure. mind, I was like, man. My sure. karma gotta come back to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll, it'll, I mean, it'll come back around, and then it may hit you in hey. the wrong, wrong time. Come you on, know, let's be effort and, and, and energy in this one woman, but then it comes back around. Yes. And she does the same thing you did to all these other women that you did in your past. Yeah, and then you're looking like, God, man, yeah. man. Who can so you why, blame? Why not? Why not just do it right from the start? We've already been through these trials and tribulations. Learn from yes. us. Learn from our mistakes. Tell us how you feel, congregation. Yeah. How you feel about this? How do, in, in, from a guy's perspective and from a woman's perspective? That's fine, sure. too. You can let us know. Let us know. How, what are y'all on, on that end? Because guaranteed, the women control the sex, but they're still giving it up. You know what I mean? We're not taking it from them. They're giving it up. And uh, it could be a lot of trauma there. Why yeah. are they doing yeah. this? Yes. yes. Why are they letting multiple people? I mean, come on, we can be real as you would like to be, but mm -hmm. why are they doing this? Why is it multiple people? Yeah. It, yeah. I mean, come on. It's a lot of wild things out there that can you, you introduce. And I'll tell you this, and 
I will stop about it. But mm -hmm. I had my buddy, another one of my good friends or whatever, and he was getting married, beautiful, beautiful young wife. I was young. Mitch, man, I think I'm going to have her go to one of these places with me and, and you know, we're going to do a little swinging. I said, hey, man, uh, uh, if she uh, never uh, presented that to you, uh -huh. why would you introduce that to her? Because it could go so many ways. She could like it. She could be already attracted to it. Now she going without you. How are you going to feel? Ooh. What if that is the only way now that she can see the two of y'all together is with adding another person with y'all or going somewhere that is, that could be dangerous. People yeah. get into that lifestyle and you don't know what's going to happen. So my advice to you, what they say, be careful what you wish for mm. that right there. Let it be the sanctimonious with you and your partner. And that's what I'll say. Yeah. I'm done. Yeah, oh, yeah I, I, I agree. I agree. It, it has to be something mutual. It, it definitely has to be something mutual. You can't just be doing something like that. That would be something that you would discuss and talk and all of that type of stuff. And especially, I mean, I, are you willing to accept the whole fact that maybe she just enjoys somebody else more than you? Are you okay. willing to accept that? Kane, that's hard. And man, you can play yeah, if you want pride, to. Yeah, that, that pride kick in. You'd be like, what? Mm -hmm. I and like when he does this, not you. Can you see? Oh, that? man, Kane. And then I'll say this, ladies, you know, married or girlfriend and everything, boyfriend. Don't let a man pressure you into doing those things. Don't, you know, just to please him. Yeah, I'm a walk if you don't do this. Well, he might have to walk or whatever. Yes. Just let them walk. Don't let nobody force you into it, that type of life. And that's being straight up. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. What What do y'all think about it? What do y'all think? Uh, Masciples, Canaanites, whatever, right? Just do <laughs> this dude. I haven't said that in a while. Yeah, right? I know. <laughs> but, uh, hey, let us know. Give us a thumbs yeah. up if you made it this far. Guaranteed. Because I know some people really cut off, you know, uh, early in the game. But we're just trying to get a conversation, a good dialogue going yeah. on about this and and yeah. how people really feel and how do they act and react and does a male womanizer stem from uh childhood trauma any type of trauma or is that just something that peer pressure whatever you know let us know what you got bro oh no i i just wanted to because my baby y'all hear my wolf hound barking in the back yeah. or whatever so sorry about that but um <laughs> we just this this topic, you know, we got a little deep that shows a depth, but uh, we're not afraid to go there because it's the uncomfortable truth. But it is for sure. for the sure. truth. For sure. So That's thank what you. It is. Hey, just let us know. That's the uncomfortable truth. Hey, let's go do something, baby. Roger that for sure. <laughs>